Greetings. Welcome to the Morning Dew. As we are getting ready to go deeper on this journey with God to lead a successful life, I believe all of you have taken time with God preparing yourself to leave your present and your past that you are ready to move forward to cross over to the next level of your life as we learned what we lack is the understanding about our future how can we grow in our understanding the understanding about our future the understanding about the life that god wants each one of us to lead the life that we all have lived so far has conditioned us in a certain way our mind has been set in a certain way we have developed a certain way of thinking from our young age even though we are grown up now we are still thinking the same way we are still speaking the same way we are still behaving the same way how we are trained in our young age we should transform our thinking to transform our life to lead a successful life as the bible talks about being transformed by the renewing of your mind you can bring you up in a different way by thinking in a certain way as we read in proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 as a man thinketh in his heart so is he you are the product of your thinking are you ready to change your mentality it is your mentality that makes you who you are God had to work in the mindset of people after he delivered them from the land of Egypt. If you read from Deuteronomy chapter 11 verses from 10 to 12. For the land which you go to possess is not like the land of Egypt from which you have come, where you have sowed your seed and watered it by food as a vegetable garden, but the land which you cross over to possess is a land of hills and valleys, which drinks water from the rain of heaven, a land for which the Lord your God cares. The eyes of the Lord your God are always on it from the beginning of the year to the very end of the year. The scripture that we read, it's showing us that after God delivered the people from the land of Egypt, he had to remind them that the land of Canaan was different from the land of Egypt where they are coming from. Why God had to explain about the promised land they were going to possess? There was a possibility for the children of Israel they would fail to see the difference, appreciate the difference and treat the promised land the same way how they treated the land of bondage. When you move to a better life, you cannot have the same lifestyle that you have developed in the past. Your future expects you to behave in a certain way, to speak in a certain way. And when you change your mindset and when you grow in your maturity, you will see a change in your behavior. The way you respond to situations, the way you respond to people, it's going to change. There are certain protocols to be followed. Are you ready to learn about those protocols? Are you willing to learn to behave in a certain way in accordance with the protocols of the new environment that you're going to enter? We are going to learn more about the protocols and manners of God in the coming days. Get ready. May God bless you. Shalom.